you about some really high quality carbon fiber parts from Slough K. I'll put the name right here. They sell on Amazon and what they sent me are these mirror covers, all right? Not just any mirror covers, carbon fiber mirror covers. Real carbon fiber. Look at this. If you haven't seen real carbon fiber before, you don't know what you're missing. This is so cool looking, all right? And what's awesome is it completes the look on the outside of my car. So I've got now, obviously, these cool mirror covers. Matches up with the cameras and the door handle covers here too, all right? Yes, of course, I'm recommending all of this stuff because it looks so good. And I can't wait to show you all kinds of different pictures and video of this because it looks fantastic in real life. I just hope I can capture it in the video and pictures. So we'll do an unboxing, we'll do an install, all right? Install is so simple, all right? To, to put these on is very easy, but there are a couple things that you don't want to miss. Please watch. You don't want these things flying off when you're driving, all right? So uh, just a couple simple things that uh, uh, you're going to want to pay attention to. What is it? Oh man, oh man, I'm getting excited. And wham! Whoa! Oh yeah! Holy crap! This is a lot of carbon fiber. Oh my god. Ooh! And look at this! This is real carbon fiber, my friends. Holy crap. Dang, this looks good. Wow. I'm going to try to catch this in the right lighting outside, get a better camera view because there's just so much reflection right now. I'm not sure it's going to show up very well on this camera, but it looks so cool. It's like a major 3D thing going on. Wow, so I've got some door handle covers, I've got some uh, camera covers, but you know, they're much smaller, and this with a large area, hoo, hoo, hoo. holy cow, and wow, are these light? It's like nothing. I mean, it's, it's, it's lighter than like plastic even, it's weird. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so look what we got here, all stuck together. Two adhesion promoters and like an entire roll of double-sided tape. Wow, okay. All right, excellent, let's go. So we gotta get this double-sided tape on the back of these mirror covers and uh, we're going to be going around the edges here and potentially in the center here, although I'm not positive we have enough tape for all of that. If we skip anything, it'll be up the center. Okay, so first uh, we need to clean off the inside of this and I'm going to be using some alcohol. Okay, I'm then going to use one of these adhesion promoters for both of these. So clean both of them off with alcohol and then use one of these for both. These things dry out really fast so once you open it up use it quickly. Okay make sure they're dry from the adhesion promoter and now let's try to get some of this tape on there. We don't want any of the tape to be bunched up like this, so I'm going to make sure I cut that out.
I like to do some dry fitting actually before I clean just to kind of see how everything make sure everything fits properly and then know how I'm going to put it on you know so here once we once we peel the backing off of this tape it's obviously going to be very sticky so you don't want to start putting it on the wrong way and have things stick and not being able not being able to move it so it's going to be better to put the front on here and then go to the back step one wash and clean the mirrors alcohol Remember, wash and clean both mirrors, just like the mirror caps. Use the adhesion promoter. And remember, this doesn't last very long. It dries out real quick. So clean both mirrors with this. Uh, remember, there's two of these. So use one of them on both mirrors. Get them both prepped at the same time. All right, I've taken all the backing off of the tape. So here we go. Again, I'm gonna start with the front. And yeah, this is not easy. This thing wants to stick. So don't press down too hard on anything yet. Because once you press down, it's stuck. Okay. All right, I gotta say that was a little bit touch and go. I did have to use a little pry bar to make sure that I was uh, unsticking that because it wants to stick, especially after you clean it off really well and use that adhesion promoter. But it is on there. And now I'm gonna start from the center and start pressing outwards. Okay, you don't want to start from the ends and start pressing this way. You want to kind of start from the center. You know, where we had the tape. All right, man, wow. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. Solid, too. All right, let's see how this side goes. Got to admit, that other side is a little bit, it's a little rough. I mean, this thing wants to stick. All right. And hey, big surprise, this side's doing the same thing. It wants to stick. So I'm pushing this front in to make sure it's all the way in. Trying to hold this back up as long as I can. And then pushing down. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. It's all the way down, all the way around. Now we can start pressing in from the center, again and down. And from what I read about some of these tapes is that they take 72 hours to fully set. Okay, I'm telling you, when people see this, they're gonna notice it. Looking at your car like, holy crap, is that, what is that? That's carbon fiber? Like, most people probably haven't seen real carbon fiber. If you're gonna cover your mirrors, cover your cameras, cover your doors, get the carbon fibers, the real carbon fiber stuff from Slavke, all right? You can't beat it.